until she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. This is the word of the Almighty God that we honor by saying thanks be to God, most righteous and eternal God. As the word is about to go forth right now to your people, I pray God that your word will go forth with power. With clarity, with the soundness of your spirit, Lord, let there be a word for your people today. You declare that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that shall proceed from your mouth. Does man live? Speak to the heart of your people today. Let there be bread for the eater. And let there be food for the feeding now. Let your anointing sit upon me like never before. As I tell you thanks, and we lift our hands in agreement and say, In Jesus Christ of Nazareth name. Amen. Somebody clap your hands and glorify God. Somebody clap your hands and worship the Lord. Somebody clap your hands and glorify the Lord. Uh, when we look into the world, we realize that uh, a mother plays a critical part uh, in the family life. A mother plays a critical part uh, in the children life. And the Bible allows us to know that from creation, God Himself has put the mandatory plan into place. It is for us to follow. The Bible declared that God Himself ah, declares and uttered that it was not good for man to be alone. So God put Adam into a deep sleep and he came a rest from out of Adam and ah, and the woman which is the mother of the land when we look at mothers we realize that Eve also glory be to God is the mother glory be to God of all nation of all tongues and all tribes oh matter what your calling is oh matter what your nationality is oh mother black or your white and shy we have come through the dispensation generation of Adam and Eve Eve was the first mother somebody glorify God somebody worship the Lord and shy the Bible allow us to know that the that man sin and fall short of the glory of God. God was searching for a mother. Somebody said a mother. But this mother that God was searching for, uh, Pastor Melissa, was not any ordinary mother. You see, God is a holy God. The Bible So God, ah, get the attention of his 
from tail up. First current tail or just tail up. Whatever way you want to turn it. Glory be to God. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. And look what shall you see. There is something about a mother. So the Bible allows us to know that the mother also is the chariot of the seed. So the Holy Ghost overshadow Mary. Like the mighty and Martha. The Holy Ghost overshadow Mary. She has now become the chariot of a child. Bless the name of the Lord. She has now become a mother of a son. Somebody glorify God. I believe. Oh, and so it was quoting Mary. He realized that something was strange with Mary. All of a sudden, Mary Betty started to grow. And Mary Betty started to show. And Joseph checking himself and analyzing and look to shine. Start to deserve that something must be wrong. Because I have not shown her. She's not yet exposed to me. Because we are not yet married. Not to And they are worth living according to the word. Dwelling in the word. Marriage is honorable unto God. And they is undefiled. They that do such things obtain favor. From God. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. So Joseph was troubled within his spirit want to find out what is going on and what is taking place. So Joseph started pondering in his heart. But God sent another angel to tell Joseph and said, Joseph. It's not like what you think. It's not like what your mind is telling you. And no question. But the seed that the mother Mary is sharing is the seed of the Holy Ghost. She's not contaminated with no man. Because being that if it was Joseph, then Jesus Christ could not save us because the seed would have become contaminated. The seed would have become dirty. The seed would have become messy. The seed would have become a rejected. So it has been to be spotless. Has to be without blemish. Has to be without wrinkle. The seed has to be holy. Unto God, so the Bible allows us to know that the angel of God gave unto Joseph all the dialogues, gave unto Joseph all that he needed to know that he should not put away his wife, even though. She has become a mother. She's now bearing seed. All the mothers in the house of the Lord, leave your hands right now and declare, I'm proud to be called a mother. Open your mouth, shout it, let the devil hear you. Somebody 
Somebody glorify God because of the love for our 
mothers, I want to implore the young people that you must honor your mother and your father, which is the first commandment we promise. So your deeds may be long upon the land with the Lord.
because the stone I'm going to shine has been engrafted on the inside of me. Somebody in your hands and give God praise. Thank you. 